It's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. We're on our way to Ocala, Florida to pick up a Bultaco El, ba El Bandito that I purchased sight unseen from the Gas Monkey Garage auction. We're gonna review the bike, make some observations about the auction, the auction transport, Hopefully the bike runs. We'll uh, maybe service it and go for a ride. So previewing the auction listings the night before, the auctioneer listed the VIN number, but they didn't tell you if the VIN numbers matched the engine numbers or even if the motorcycle had a title. They updated the title status the next day, but didn't tell you anything about the bike, not even if the engine turned over. Now consider this Boltaco Metralla, which they have listed or described as a, a Mark II, but it's a Mark I. It's a 200cc four-speed, which they have listed as a 250cc with a description of the Mark II. This Suzuki GT750 was described as a four-cylinder, and this XS650 was described as a V-twin. This Honda QA50 is not a mini-trail, and this is a Mako. It's not called a Maiko. Prices were inconsistent, but higher on the second day. This 250 Sherpa T brought more than my El Bandito and more than this 250 Astro. To be fair, the auction could have been more expertly run, but I did get the bike that I wanted. So, here we are picking up this Botaco that I never saw before, that we bought sight unseen from the Grass Monkey Garage auction. Here it is, the El Bandito. Well, doesn't look like a runner, but it's close. This and fork seals. Stress crack, but you know it. Probably original glass. That's a good thing. Well, let's get back to the shop. Yeah. So, Inga and I just left the 1 800 Hall Bikes Terminal and uh, we're in the middle of a afternoon Florida thunderstorm. The nice thing about Hall Bikes here is they let me drive right into the terminal so I could load up under the roof. They've got enough room in their terminal you could drive a tractor trailer right through it. It's nice being able to load up. Sights on the road back from Ocala on the right. I've never been there. It's the Barberville Pioneer Settlement. But on the left, Arborville Yard Art Emporium. A lot of smalls in there too. Anything from life-size statues of a rhinoceros to uh, ceramic painted Mexican skulls. Stop the 
this is the the Lusa Speedway. They got a short track there. They race flat track. Usually the weekend before bike week officially starts. Okay, so we have this El Bandito on the lift. And a couple of things I'm learning already. I thought it was a 360 Bandito, which would be a Model 18, but it's not. You can't see that, but it's a Model 50, which came later. Uh, 50 is after 18, but it's a 350 El Bandito. A model 61 would be a 360 El Bandito Mark II. At least I think that's a Mark II. We're going to have to go to our cheat sheet hanging on the bathroom wall to see what this is and then compare it to our other ones. Over here I have what I think is a Mark II El Bandito. Yep, that's a Model 61. But I'm told the only differences between this and a Mark I 360 El Bandito is aluminum fenders. And next to it's an El Montadero. That's a Model 70. So let's go to our cheat sheet and see what we got. So this is my cheat sheet. Our El Bandito Model 50 is down here. It's a 350 El Bandito. There's a Model 18, which is a 362, which came earlier. And I think there's a 17, but that's not on my chart. The bottle 61 is the Mark II, that's 362, that has aluminum fenders. Our El Montadero back there is a model 70, that's a 362. I'm guessing the original El Montadero, which was a 362, was probably fiberglass fenders. Here's our 350 El Bandito model 50, 347 cc's. I'm guessing perhaps it was a class limitation that they had to build a 350. Maybe it came from the 350 TSS and they had some extra cylinders or pistons. The TSS, I think that's the water-cooled one. But here's what I don't get, is I would have thought that everything after the Matrella Mark II here, everything after a 23, I thought that was all five-speed, but no. These are much later and they're still four speeds. So I learned something I didn't know until I got that bike. There's our streaker. So we're going to finish digging out the Mark II and compare it to our Mark I. and see what we got. figured why I have daylight next to it. I figured why I have daylight next to it and get some shots of my El Montadero.
Side covers are different. This is different. Some fenders are steel and some are aluminum. I think that's painted steel. The steel fenders are hard to find right now. Everybody reproduces the aluminum, which are easier to install, but they just dent when you look at them. 3,375 miles. We got to get this going next. All right, so this is the Mark II. This is the Meekum bike. Of course, I didn't get it from Meekum, so I didn't pay the transport fee or the buyer's fee, but somehow they broke the cable on transport and then just sitting in my shop, stuff fell off of it. The motor mounts aren't even tight. So it needs a, a going over. What I like about my other one is I like to see originality original decals, original paint. I don't mind scuffs. Here's a fender crack. I'd much rather see that than a lot of reproduction stuff. This is interesting. Wonder what it looks like under the boat tail if the side covers are different you don't know what shocks did they give me Bader okay so we're gonna have the El Bandito episode <laughs> 